morning, my name is Eugene. 25 December 2018, Prophet prophesied that I see a border conflict between Israel and the other nations. I pray in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. On to uh, some fresh developments that we are tracking. Lebanon will be holding talks with Israel on the disputed borders uh, issue. The talks will be mediated by the United Nations on their disputed land and maritime borders. The United States will act as a facilitator during the talks, which are due to be held in the southern Lebanon border town of Nakora. The neighboring countries, which are technically in a state of war, have competing claims to disputed land and maritime areas, including what may be energy-rich waters. And joining us live on the broadcast is Amachai Stein, diplomatic correspondent of CAN TV, joining us from Israel. Hi, uh, tell us more about uh, the ramifications that these talks will actually hold for the region. Resolving the dispute, if at all, would be a significant political achievement and could also mitigate risk for energy companies looking to drill in this volatile region. So first of all, it's going to be the first uh, direct talks between Israel and Lebanon in 30 years. This is a huge story right now. And, and uh, really... Um, the U.S. Uh, uh, special envoy, David Shanker, really went from Beirut to Jerusalem in the last two years to try and initiate these talks on, on behalf of the Israeli uh, uh, side. It's the energy minister, Yuval Steinitz, which will head the talks. And Shanker really tried to move the talks. And last year, it seems that the talks on the maritime border and the uh, um, decision who, who will get what in the uh, gas, for example, reservoirs in the in the area seemed that it's going to initiate talks and in, in the last moment it was cancelled and now the talks are going ahead it's a joint statement one from lebanon and one from jerusalem at the same time uh this was published and it comes in a very interesting time because lebanon is in very in a very difficult economic situation not many countries want at this point to invest in Lebanon. They're telling them, if 